On today's Ibble Bits, Harry Styles graced the cover of Vogue with some controversy. Pokemon Go goes beyond. All things NBA draft. George Clooney is icon of the year. Charlie Brown holiday specials are back. And Ford unveils the 2021 GT Heritage Edition. My name is Cliff. I'll be your host today. Let's get into it. There are no male-female barriers to clothes. At least that's what Harry Styles thinks. The English singer made the cover of Vogue magazine this month wearing a dress while blowing up a balloon and it has stirred up many conversations. Y'all see Harry Styles? Did you see that this morning? Men have always done cross-dressing. There have always been some segment of men who cross-dress. Very often it was played for comedy. She tweeted, there is no society that can survive without strong men. The East knows this. In the West, the steady feminization of our men at the same time that Marxism is being taught to our children is not a coincidence. It is an outright attack. Bring back manly men. I'm old school, man. I like the way it is and just let it ride. Yeah, just like the whole pants but what thing is, is But nice what is the way it is? The way it's been? Well, why? In the interview with Vogue, Harry says, quote, there's clothes for men and there's clothes for women. Once you remove any barriers, obviously you open up the arena in which you can play. I I'm on, I really don't understand that quote personally. Anyway, let us know what you think about it. Do you think there should be a new section at the stores? Hop back in your time machine to July 2016. Do you remember a game that had instant virality called Pokemon Go? The augmented reality game that takes people on a journey to catch real world Pokemon is actually still pretty big. In the first half of this year, the game has generated $445 million. And they just released the new Go Beyond feature. People that have hit the experience cap of level 40 will now be able to go up to level 50. Nerd glasses on. The 2020 NBA draft is officially a wrap. The biggest move from the night kicked things off before the first pick was ever announced. The Sixers traded Al Horford two picks and the rights to Vasily Message for Danny Green, Terrence Ferguson, and an $8.6 million trade exception. Other highlights include Georgia's Anthony Edwards going number one overall to Minnesota, followed by James Wiseman and LaMelo Ball going second and third respectively. Let's not forget about my Spurs who snagged a solid 3 and D talent in Devin Vossel. We won't have to wait long to see these players in action as play begins for the 2021 season on December 22nd. If 2020 had an icon of the year, some might think it's Dr. Fauci, but GQ thinks it's George Clooney, the 59-year-old actor who has a new sci-fi movie coming out on Netflix December 2nd called The Midnight Sky, just won Man of the Year. To celebrate, he did a video with GQ talking about his most iconic characters. Other GQ of the Year winners are Rapper of the Year Megan Stallion and Newsman of the Year Trevor Noah. So who is your icon of the year? What is the one thing that we can all agree on besides Man of the Year? It's that the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving and Christmas special should always be on the air. It's time I'm gonna kick that football clear to the moon! God! Apple Plus took over the rights to the Peanuts holiday special last year, and after backlash for not airing The Great Pumpkin for Halloween, they came to a deal with PBS to air the Thanksgiving and Christmas specials. Glad to hear, love those memories on the holidays. So did you watch Ford vs. Ferrari? If you did, you might be excited to hear that Ford is releasing its heritage version of the GT this year to celebrate its first ever 24-hour endurance race at Daytona. The new GT looks similar to the 66 car, but Ford didn't stop here. They're also releasing a studio collection version that is basically a graphics package of the car. The crazy thing is, only 40 of these will be released for the 2021 and 2022 model years, so you better act fast. Thank you for tuning in to Ibble Bits. If you want to have a convo with your friends about more stories like this, check out our website to join the waitlist for the Ibble app. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.